Hey guys, welcome back to this craft along. Uh, this is the second video in this series where I'm going to be spinning up these Rolags that I prepared in the previous video. So uh, just to recap what I did, I took a four ounce braid of Blue Mule Farm fiber and uh, this is merino in the colorway bluebird and I took my hand carters and I prepared the fiber with hand carters I used some straight knitting needles to roll the fiber up into little row lags if I can pull one out of here <laughs> um, so what I did is after I went through that entire four ounce braid, which by the way, took me about, I'd say five hours to do the whole thing. So I started at about 11 o'clock in the morning and finished up around four o'clock in the evening. <laughs> uh, I did take a break to eat some food and whatnot in there, but, uh, it pretty much took me five hours to do all of this prep. And then what I did is I got out my digital scale and I separated the four ounces into two ounce um, sections. So I have half the fiber here and half the fiber here. And I just put them in some plastic Walmart bags here um, to separate out the sections. So what I'm going to do is hopefully <laughs> spin uh, two ounces onto one bobbin and then two ounces on another bobbin and then mm. ply the two together. So um, I have mm. a very whiny mm. black Labrador mm. here. <laughs> who I think wants to go outside. Do you want to go outside? Is that what's going on? You want to say hi to the other neighbor dog that's also a black Labrador? Okay, so Marjorie's outside and I grabbed a cup of coffee while I was up and then we'll get back into this. Okay, so I am going to be spinning on the only spinning wheel that I own. <laughs> Uh, I know some people have multiple spinning wheels, but since I'm still pretty new at this, I just have the one. So um, this spinning wheel here So this spinning wheel, I believe, is an Ashford traditional. And uh, I bought this at a uh, flea market. Uh, I think it was, was it last year? I think I bought this. So I've already set up the wheel, um, tensioned everything. Now, of course, once I start spinning, I'll probably have to <laughs> adjust that as I usually do. But it is a single treadle spinning wheel, which means it has one pedal down here. And it did come with some extra bobbins uh, so I have four in total which is pretty good so the bobbins are kind of small I'll grab one of my extra ones uh, and this one here needs some wood glue <laughs> so I'll get my husband on that but um, they're pretty small bobbins I don't know how much fiber these bobbins can hold so that's going to be a part of this learning process. Um, I have spun on this wheel before, but I didn't weigh the fiber. I did not really measure the yardage I got out of it in the end. Um, I just was practicing and playing around. So not only will I be spinning Rolex for the very first time, uh, in this video, but I'll also be doing some calculations for the first time and trying to figure out what I can produce 
on this wheel and on these bobbins. Okay, so I have a leader on here, uh, which is just a piece of scrap yarn that I've tied onto the bobbin. And what I'll do is I'll use this to get um, my spinning started. So I've already pulled out a couple of little uh, Rolex here. These are the first couple that I prepared in the last video. So when I'm first starting out, um, I'm gonna need to, I'm sure, adjust the tension um, and the brake band and things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the first um, little bits that I prepared that are super, super blended <laughs> um, to get me started. So here we go. Now I am going to shoot for a um, fingering weight yarn uh, just because I really enjoy knitting with fingering weight yarn. I also really enjoy spinning um, thinner yarn. So I'm just, I'm going to work on that. Now the drafting that I'm doing is that I'm I'm feeling most comfortable with um, still doing a somewhat worsted draw here. So I am kind of smoothing the fibers out and pushing the air out, but I'm fine with that. Um, I know preparing Rolex is more of a worsted prep, which puts air into the fibers and then worsted uh, pushes the air out of the fibers so I'm not like <laughs> super concerned with the yarn being worsted or woolen I'm mostly just playing around with this type of fiber prep and also practicing my my spinning I'm still getting used to this because um, I feel like I've tensioned it enough where uh, usually at this point, <laughs> and I'm going to say this and watch it happen, um, usually at this point my yarn would have broke on me uh, because I'm either putting in too much twist or not enough. So the fact that that hasn't happened yet is really good. That makes me super happy. So I am almost to the end of this Rolex, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the bobbin and see how we're doing here. So that's looking pretty good, you guys. Let's see if I can bring the camera over. Okay, so I apologize for the shaky camera, but uh, that is looking pretty good, you guys. Like, I'm really happy with that. So, let's just keep going. So I have finished the first two Rolex and I've made one pass on the bobbin so far and you can see that 
my singles are looking pretty good. Um, I did start loading the bobbin here, and I've worked back over to here. Um, so you can see it was eh, not the best right in the beginning, but that's usually how it is with my spinning. Um, I have had the yarn break on me already. I also had um, this, this piece back here, swivels, to, um, so that you can take off the bobbin um, and the flyer. Uh, I did have this piece here, it swivels. I had it swivel out and the bobbin fell and the brake band fell off and that was interesting. So <laughs> I kind of wish there was a way to lock this in position, but I don't see a way to do that. So I'm going to have to watch for that. Um, I also had to switch chairs because I was in a rolly chair. But there is uh, wood floor in here, so I kept um, pushing myself further and further back away from the spinning wheel, making it hard to treadle. So I had to switch to a stationary chair that doesn't have wheels. Right here, but um, this chair's a little too tall for this. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Um, <laughs> I did have to put a rug under the spinning wheel earlier uh, because the spinning wheel itself was sliding. But I don't have any more of these rugs, so I switched chairs. But what I might end up doing is just going out into the living room because it's carpeted out there. But I'm going to keep going, and I'm really excited to see how this turns out. So I have spun about 23 grams onto this bobbin, uh, and I know that because I weighed the um, Rolex that are still in this bag. So I had split the fiber up to be 55 grams in each bag, and I've been spinning out of this one bag. And it has 22 grams left in it, which means I have 23 grams here. So, um, I'm thinking <laughs> that I cannot spin an entire uh, four ounces as a single big skein because I'm only a quarter of the way through. Uh, the fiber. So if I double up the singles that are on here, this is going to be a really full bobbin. And then when I ply two really full bobbins together, it's going to be too much yarn for a single bobbin to hold. And I don't know how to deal with that. So, <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and take this bobbin off the spinning wheel and 
spin the other 22 grams up onto a separate bobbin and then ply those two together. Um, I should have some left over on here to carry over to the next. Anyway, um, that's my thought because I don't think I'm going to be able to do it all in one. I think I'm going to have to do it in halves. So, yep, I think that's what I'm going to do. The bobbin kept falling off while I was spinning. What happened was uh, this was loosening up in the back and then the tail end of the bobbin was falling out. So, uh, this maiden here twists to release the bobbin. And uh, so this was turning, rotating, and then the flyer was dropping out. Anyway, it's not doing that anymore. I put a little bit of oil um, up here for the flyer, and I also tightened the drive band. Turns out the drive band was actually kind of loose. And so doing those two things apparently has fixed that problem, which is good because the bobbin falling off is really annoying. <laughs> Okay, so it's day two of my spinning of the fiber. Um, I did finish spinning the first two ounces last night and I let the singles sit overnight. So I have two bobbins of singles 
and what I'm going to do now is ply them together. So, uh, it does look like this bobbin has physically more yarn on it than this one. So, we'll see how that goes because technically I think this one has more weight to it. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to apply the yarn to the singles together right now. And so I have a third bobbin. Oh, I already put it on the wheel. So I have a third bobbin that's already on the spinning wheel. I technically have four bobbins, but the fourth bobbin needs some wood glue because uh, this just comes off. So... I need to put some glue on here and glue that back on. But anyway, I the third bobbin is just fine, so that's already on the wheel. So in order to easily ply singles together, you need something called a lazy kate, which will hold your bobbins of singles while you spin on the spinning wheel onto another bobbin. So I don't have a lazy cake so I made one out of a box not very well even <laughs> but I just took I'll take this bobbin out of here so I used a box um, it's basically shoebox size and I poke some holes in the sides, as you can see here. So I'm going to use two straight knitting needles here to hold my bobbins. So I'm gonna take a straight knitting needle and I'm gonna put it through the box <laughs> and through the bobbin so that it will sit in here and roll very easily. And then I need to make sure to put this bobbin in facing the same way so that I'm taking the singles off in the same direction. So I spun these singles uh, with the wheel going in a clockwise direction. So when I apply them together, I'm going to go in a counterclockwise direction. So I'm going to be pulling the singles off here the same way so that there it will actually ply together. So anyway, so this uh, Lazy K, I haven't put any kind of tensioning thing in here which I'm sure I'll play around with at a later date, but for now, this is this is gonna do. So I'm going to put this on the floor on my left-hand side, and um, I'm gonna start playing.